Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable sticky headers in your WooCommerce shop using Flatsum theme. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And if we go to this particular website that I'm building for a client, it's just a demo site at the, at the moment. And if I scroll down, you can see this top section actually disappears as we scroll down. And we want to make this static so that it's always there. So as we scroll down, it will pop down and we can still see like the navigation and the logo and the search bar and so forth. There's a couple of different ways to do this or a few different options. Let's go into the admin control panel and we're going to go to the appearance and go to customize. And inside the theme customization, we're going to click on the header section here. And then we're going to go to sticky header. And when we enable that, there's a few different options, right? So it says top bar sticky on scroll. So if we click that option and then we scroll down, we can see this very top bar, right? This is like the very top, this, uh, this part here this blue section right so if we scroll down you can see that the high quality shirts and these little icons are still enabled if we untick that and tick this middle one this is like the middle section you can kind of see the middle section here on this little builder options down here and this will be the the logo and the search section and the add to cost as we scroll down then that's that section just shows on its own right and then the third section if we undo that one and click this one um, it's header bottom sticky scroll right so this is the bottom of the header which is the navigation now when we scroll down we see the navigation now there's an option to enable all three so you can tick all three and now all three of those elements will show as you scroll down the page and this is kind of a nice way for a customer to view your content uh, but also be able to access the navigation which is quite important right and there's a few different options here like shrink and fade in so when you scroll down um, it might just shrink in or or do some fade or do something a bit different so this one's kind of just shrinking in um, and then this one is fading so let's try fade and this one will like fade in rather than just uh, jumping down but I prefer this option jump down uh, that's kind of the nice way to do it and you can add a custom um, like logo maybe you change the logo when um, it slides down that's kind of useful if it shrinks down if, any, if the navigation and the header shrinks slightly then you may want to add a, a slightly different version of the logo um, so that it can fit the size properly on the website but I think this option here is probably the best option where it just pops down like this Personally, I don't think the top bar sticky scroll is required. I think that's kind of nice as it is, but when you scroll down, most importantly is the logo, the search, the add to cart, and all of these navigation options in here. Um, so that's probably about it really. That's just how you enable uh, the sticky options. The, the header uh, height is sticky, so you can change like the height of the header. So if we scroll down, let's just see. You can uh, manipulate the header here, I believe. Yeah, you can change like the actual size of it. You can make it more narrow, or you can um, the sticky, so like the padding around the logo. You can change the padding around the logo. You can make that smaller. So as it scrolls down, you can make some of these options a bit smaller, and also the height on the navigation. You can change that as well um, to to change the settings in here as you scroll down right you can see that it's kind of changing the settings here let's just set them back to their defaults i think as default um they're going to look a lot better like this right as their default so let's click um publish here and let's just go back to the website and refresh it and now we can see that navigation sticking on the header so it doesn't matter where we go if we click on a product if we scroll right down click on this product and as we're scrolling down this header will stay static right and we've got kind of got rid of this blue bar which i don't think is necessary on the scroll when we scroll down i don't think it's that necessary to have that there you can see at the top and you get kind of get this little pop up at the bottom so when you scroll past um the product options here that will also show down at the bottom down here you can see that right okay so that's how you go about enabling sticky headers in the flats and theme uh, I think that's quite a useful option to enable if it's not enabled on your flats and theme for WooCommerce then I would strongly recommend that you have this as a static um, header that pops down okay let's go ahead and minimize this that's how you go about enabling sticky headers in your WooCommerce shop using flats and theme hopefully you find this tutorial useful that's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial